So we're using this elastic wrap for people who have a groin area muscle strain. So groin area means that Jeremy is quiet during when he visits my class. Thanks. So hip flexor is in the groin area. Internal rotator in the groin area. Okay. These are the two air, two muscle, two motions, two movements that are going to cause the most pain, the most problem. So when we have an overstretch, there's a problem, right? When we have an overcontraction, there's a problem. We can't stop the overcontraction, but we can limit some of the overstretch. We can assist when the area is weak and they're having a problem. We can assist with that. So that's our intent. But we're not sure what's you know going to be bothering her the most. Is it lifting the leg into flexion, or is it putting it on stretch? Because athletes complain of both. They'll say, well, it hurts me more when I stretch it, or it hurts me more when I lift it. I feel it more when I'm lifting it. I don't feel it as much when I stretch it, but I feel it a little bit more when I lift it. So we don't know what. So you're going to need to test your athlete. So what I want you to do, for, let's say we have a left groin. Turn your knee just straight for me. And I want you to bend this knee and lunge forward, staying tall, stretching your hip flexor because you're in hip extension. Stay tall and bend this knee. And she says, ah, I feel that. I feel that. Okay. <laughs> now, step forward. Can you hold her hand so you can be her balance? Can you someone be her balance over here? Now, I want you to lift this leg up. Oh, don't worry. Lift it up. So, hold. Okay. <clears throat> hold it there. Okay, so which one bothers you more? Lifting it up with a little pressure on your leg like that? Try it again. Lift it up. So she would be on the ground when I was doing this, right? I'd just have her elevated here so everybody could see that. Stay on the top of that skyscraper. For the tall guy. Right. So, what bothers you more? You get to tell me right now. Choose one of them. Lifting it up sure. bothers you more. Okay, so if it bothers her more to lift it up, then we want to take the foot and put it behind. No, this one. Put it behind, and I want you to turn it in more. Okay, that is my bad leg. <laughs> you want to use this one instead? Okay. Okay. So turn that in. Right. We want to internally rotate. I'll hold it for me. I don't need to lose it. You can bend this knee a little bit and be tall. Yeah, bend the knee a little bit and be tall. Okay, so so she's a little bit on stretch. And we're going to start right here in front. Hold for me here. Now normally, not now and not today, but normally this would go underneath the short so nobody even knew she had a groin problem. We don't need to put a target on her for people, her competitors, to go after her. So... Hold that for me. I'm going to come down. I'm going to come around. Notice that the roll is on top. It's not this way on the bottom. The roll is on top. I'm going to come around. And I'm going to come up. Somebody hold her. I don't want to lose her, please. I'm going to fold the dog ear over. I'm going to come down. And I'm going to finish my wrap. Like so. Can you hold it? Can you reach that? Can you hold that? Okay. Thank you. Tighten your thigh. Tighten it. And that tighten the thigh is pretty important. We're putting non elastic tape around the muscle. I'm not pulling very hard at all. Just hold it. You can let go. Oops. Same way, right? Don't. Let's not lose her. And fold that little part of the tape over. So, step down for me. <clears throat> There's a chair yeah, right there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you can't right. just see that going down. So this wrap, walk around for me. Yeah, give her some room. Walk around the room. Walk around the room. Tell me what the difference of feeling is. Like now walk more. Walk more. <laughs> like you can almost see it. 
Yeah. It helps you lift your leg, doesn't it? It bounces away. Right. In fact, she was saying that it hurts coming up. This is going to assist her in coming up. It's also going to give her a limit in extension, but it's definitely if you feel that lift when you yeah. walk, right? So this time, I say, what hurts more? Can you guys help her, please, balance? So lift this, lift this up. She tests that. OK, now put it behind you. Put it all the way back behind you. Bend this knee. Stretch that hip. She goes, and she says, ah, that hurts uh, me more. Yeah. So now, putting it on stretch <clears throat> causes her more problem, causes her more pain. So we're going to position her in front. Foot back. Bend this knee. Turn this in. There we go. Same, same exact wrap, it's only the positioning that's different. So I'm going to expect you guys, but we want to turn your square, right? We start on the outside, we pull down. Come around the waist, we can let go, pull the dog ear over, cover the dog ear. Hold for me right there. Tighten your thigh. Pull that corner over. Tighten your thigh. Okay. Step down. Talk to me about that. Walk around. Oh, that's weird. That like pulls it back. Kind of. I'm sorry? It doesn't like push up anymore. It doesn't. It stops you from going on stretch. It yeah. doesn't let you put it on. It limits your flexion. I mean, it limits your extension. It doesn't let you stretch it as much, correct? Yeah. Right. And that's what the wrap is supposed to do. Now, what happens if, well, it hurts both. Athlete comes up. You go like this. That hurts. That bothers me. That. You come here. You put it on. Ah, that hurts. About the, Which one's worse? Uh, it's about the same. So I would one day, I would I'd wrap them. I'd try it both ways and see which way they liked it the best. But typically... The athlete will tell you, this bothers me more or stretch bothers me more. So if it's on stretch, in the back, you want it in front. If it bothers you lifting it up, you put it in extension. 